the so-called Cubans, Dominicans, um, who's that, Panamians, etc., etc. But all these, they came here in America, right? All right, all right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you in the Bible how your forefathers end up in America. Because what they say, they say, oh, they came by the, the Bering Strait, right? They say that's how you end up here, by the Bering Strait. But it's not true. The Bible shows you that. I'm going to show you all that. And when I'm going to show you that, that's, that's going to prove to you that you are a Israelite according to the Bible. Don't call yourself Dominican no more. Call yourself, I'm a Simeonite from the, from the, from the, the, the church, from the 12th tribe of Israel. You are the children of God. You understand? You see the so-called Asians and the, and the Dominicans, they're fighting all the time. Those two people, they are the children of God, man. They are brothers. You see, Simeon, Asians from the 12th tribe of Israel. We are brothers, but we're killing each other. Because we don't know who we are. We think we are enemies, but in fact we are brothers. It's the book of Second Ezra. Chapter 13, verse 40. Uh -huh. Those are the 10 tribes. Those 10 tribes, it's those. From Ephraim down, all the way down to Naphtali. Those are those 10 tribes the Bible is talking about. Me? Which were carried away prisoners uh -huh. out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. Because back then they were enslaved by the Assyrians. Okay? Read. Whom Solomon Ezer, the king of Assyria, led away captive. Read. And he carried them over the waters. Huh? And so came they into another land. So they got liberty. The king of Assyria said, you know what? I'm gonna let you go from slavery. So now, what did they do? Read. Verse 41. But they took this counsel among themselves. So the 12 tribes, they took a counsel among themselves. So they took a counsel among themselves. Okay? Read that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So he said, you know what? We're going to leave this, this place. Because they just came out of slavery. They said, we're going to leave this place. Read. 
and go forth into a further country. They said, you know what? Let's go to somewhere far. We where never mankind dwell. They said, let's go somewhere far where never mankind dwell. When never human beings set foot on. We that they might there keep their statues. We which they never kept in their own life. We and they enter into Euphrates. So they came from Israel. Israel in this area, right? So they take, there's a river Euphrates over there. So they came through the Euphrates River, read? By the narrow passage of the river. So they came all the way from the narrow passage of the river, read? For the Most High then shoot signs for them. So they went all around Africa. They went all the way there. To the river, read? For the Most High then shoot signs for them. God showed them signs to know where they were going. You understand, read? And held still the flood. And the most high calmed the waters so they can have a safe trip. Read? Till they were passed over. Until they arrived in America. South America, North America. You see that? That's how they end up here. Okay, and, and eventually they go all the way there. Someone to Haiti, someone to Cuba, someone to Mexico, someone to Puerto Rico. Read? For through that, for through that country. There was a great way to go. Because it was a long trip. All the way from Israel, all the way. You go all around Africa to come to America. That takes time on both, right? Read? Namely, of a year and a half. One year and a half trip that they do. Read? And the same region is called Aseret. That same region is called Aseret. Do you know what Aseret means? New world. Aseret means new world. New, the new world is America. When Christopher Columbus come here, we call America the new world. You understand? So that's where your forefathers came. When they came on boats, they came. That's how your forefathers end up in America. That's how your forefathers end up to the American Rock family. Because they took a trip all over there and they, end, and they said, you know what, we're going to come here. Some stuff here that you can see. The tribe of Ephraim, they took the land of Puerto Rico. That's their land. That's their land. But America said, no, that's my land. But that belongs to the so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Ephraim. Then you have Manasseh, yeah, who went to the island of Cuba. Right there because the that's, that's supposed to be their island. You understand? You have uh, Simeon. You end up where? In Hispaniola, which is called Adia and Dominican Republic today. You understand? But after that, you was there. But after that, the so-called Asians came. You understand? The so-called Asians came. You can drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. I'm going to show you how the so-called Asians end up in the Hispaniola because you was there before. You understand? Deuteronomy 28, 16. I'm going to show you that straight to the point. Yeah, go straight to the point. I'm going to show you this is what happened. Moses said this is what would happen to the children of Israel. Okay, listen. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, let verse 68. Let me ask you a question first. How do the Asians end up in the Hispaniola? <laughs> the what? Yes, it's one land. But you was there before. The so-called Dominicans was there before the Haitians. Okay? But how do the Asians end up there? They came on boat, right? Yeah. Do they came freely to that land? Mm -hmm. Do they came by their own by their own will? No. Or was they forced into that land? Because how, how did the Asians are? Did, 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 they don't, did, did they just decide one day, you know what? Let me come to that island. Is it what is it how it happened? No, it didn't happen like that. They came on boat on slave ships, right? You know that, right? Yeah. All these, the so-called Asian, American blacks, Benjamin, uh, the so-called West Indians, they all end up in America on slave ships. You, Dominicans, you came by your own will, but us, we came through slave ships. Okay, I'm gonna show you that, give me that. Okay. This is a book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Moses says, God is going to bring you to Egypt again. Remember, Moses is talking to the 12th tribe of Israel. Okay, read. With 
ships. So Moses says, you're gonna go into Egypt again. Egypt is another word for slavery. Do you know the history of Israel being in slavery in Egypt? Right, so I'm gonna show you what the word Egypt means. That's how you're gonna understand what it means when it says I'm gonna send you into Egypt again. Because this, my, my brother, this, this history, those things are hiding from us. These things are hiding from us. Why? Because they don't want those people to come together. You understand? As long as they divide us, they can get us. But when we get together, it's a wrap. When we get together, you know what's gonna happen? Christ gonna come back. That's right. Christ gonna come back and destroy all these nations. That's why they don't want you to get together. That's why they put the Dominicans against the Asians. Because they know you both, your brothers. You understand? The Dominicans and the Asians got together and, and killed a bunch of, bunch of slave masters. When they get together, they're terrible, man. But they don't want you to get together. They want all those people to get separate. You think you're a different race than me because some are lighter than me or whatever, but we are the same people. The same race of people. All these people, we are the same race of people. Right. We form one nation, the nation of Israel. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord, I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So you see, Egypt means bondage. Bondage is another word for slavery. Okay, let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God's gonna bring you into Egypt again, or slavery again, with ships. But this time you're gonna go on slave ships. My brother, who went on slavery on ships? Who went in slavery on ships? See this? Slave ships. The Bible says, the Israelites gonna go on slavery on ships. Look those images. Pack like sardines. Right. Beaten, killed, a, 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 a wife raped by those Euro Europeans. This is how we were packing the slave ships. Look at this, come closer. Take a look at this. This is how we were packing the slave ship. You sleep one to one another. The woman would have a period, it was just fall on you. Someone with this, it was just fall on you, man. That's how, the, that's what they did to us. That's how the so-called Haitians end up in Haiti. That's right. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. You see, because the so-called Haitian came from the west coast of Africa. Right? You see, this is the, the slave trade. This is called the, the slave trade. They took us from Africa, they brought some in Europe, they brought some in Asia, but they brought most of us in America. You understand? And that's after you, your people, the Simeon, the Dominicans, came to Hispaniola. That happened two, 200 years after. Not, not 200 years after. 200 years after Christopher Columbus set foot on Hispaniola, because Christopher Columbus came in 1492, right? And in 1619, that's when the slave trade started. They start bringing so-called Africans into these islands. And the first place Christopher Columbus came was in Hispaniola. Right. Then the slave trade started. They brought people over there in Jamaica. They brought people in America. You understand? And then the so-called Asians came to Hispaniola. You understand? That's how you end up here. But what's happening now? When the, when the Europeans came, did, did not they enslave you? They didn't enslave you, right? So they didn't enslave you, they enslaved the so-called Asians too. And now, they say, they, now they're trying to put you against one another. But they are the enemy. <laughs> You're not my enemy. You're my brother. The enemy is the one that enslaved us and he says, you know what? You Dominicans go against the Asians, the Asians go against the Dominicans. Now there's hatreds between one another. When in fact we are the same, we are brothers and sisters. You understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC.
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.